So Apple introduced Apple TV 4. And with Apple TV 4, you have the capabilities of downloading apps. So developers found out a way how to sideload apps. In this video, I will show you how you can get sideloaded apps onto your Apple TV and enjoy them. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to ipawind.com and I will post the link in the details. Once you get to IPA Wind, you'll be able to see exactly the app that you can get currently on the Apple TV and this will expand. So the first step to get started, you want to connect your Apple TV to your computer and you want to open up iTunes. You want to be looking for the UDID. You want to click on the serial number and the UDID will show you. It's a long code. You can either copy it or you can write it in manually on the next page. So what we need to do is go to the purchase tab which will open this screen and in this screen you want to subscribe for the service for a year so this is a one-year subscription for $14.99 or you can use a coupon at the moment which is Christmas 15 and you'll get five dollars off this does give you a lot of other features you can even get beta software later on so you want to type in your UDID here fill in the normal information here and just pay. Once you do that, you can connect your Apple TV to your TV and follow the next instructions. So you'll see an IPA Wind app on the Apple TV. So you'll click on it. And for the time being, you do have to use a computer to install the apps. So you want to select the app that you're trying to download. And what it will do, it will generate a link and it'll be emailed to you. So once you get it emailed, you also want to download iFun Box, which is available for Mac and Windows. And this application is going to be used to download the application to the TV, the Apple TV. So you do have to connect your Apple TV back to your computer, open up iFun Box. So in there you'll see TVOS. And then once you select TVOS, you want to install the IPA wind.ipa file that's sent to you and that's it so for the time being you do have to use the computer eventually that will change and the other thing is that you do have to use a USB-C cable so you can acquire one the ones that I like is actually from OnePlus they're cheap and actually very very good cables hope you guys enjoy please subscribe